In this video, we're going to turn on the Microsoft Surface Windows RT tablet for the very first time. And we'll walk through the setup. So let's get to it. So we're going to actually turn the device on here and let's see what it looks like turning this on for the first time. Surface. We've got a little status indicator here telling us that it is working and loading up. Okay, so the first thing we're greeted with here, it says your display language. Obviously, I'm speaking English, and it says pick the language you'll want to see and use most on this computer. Um, I don't know if it defaults to English, but I'm going to click on English. There we go, and I'm going to hit Next. License terms. Of course, I'm going to accept this, otherwise I can't use this device. And here we go. Let's go through personalization. Pick a color you like and give your PC a name, any name you want. You'll be able to personalize more later. So it looks like we're defaulting to some sort of blue color. I have a red keyboard, so let's just check out the red options here. That's more of an orange option. And let's see what we got here. It's a deep red. Let's go with that for now. And let's name this computer. I might as well just go with Surface. So as you can see here, here's the keyboard. And one of the things I like about Android is when you hit the shift key, you have a representation of a capitalized or a lowercase letter. The same is true here on Windows. That is not true on iOS. So, so far so good. The only thing I would like is if they had a row of numbers, but uh, that would probably take too much of the screen real estate away. I've only seen a row of numbers on the HP touchpad. So let's call this Surface, if it lets me, and hit Enter. All right, it says wireless. Get online now, and you can finish setting up your PC. If you're not sure which network to pick, ask the person who knows the network name and password. So I'm going to enter in my wireless information now, and I'll join you on the other side when I'm done. Okay, it says settings. To help your PC run better, we will update it automatically and get software for your new devices. These features are always on and will send info to Microsoft to help them work properly. Express settings. You can customize the following settings or choose express settings. If you choose express settings, your PC will occasionally send info to Microsoft and will help protect your PC from unsafe files and websites. Turn on do not track in Internet Explorer. Help improve Microsoft software services and location services by sending us info. Check online for solutions to problems. Let apps give you personalized content based on your PC's location, name, and account picture. Turn on sharing and connect to devices on this network. And finally, country or region, United States keyboard layout US. So, sounds okay to me. I can always go back and change it if I don't like any of this. So I'm just going to hit Use Express Settings. And then it says Sign In to your PC. Use your favorite email address as a Microsoft account to sign in to Windows. We won't send you spam. It says when you sign in to Windows with a Microsoft account, you can download apps from Windows Store, get your online content in Microsoft Apps automatically, and sync settings online to make PCs look and feel the same, like your browser history, account picture, and color. So I'm going to enter in the email address that I used when I ordered this device, and I'll pick up with you on the other side of that. 
All right, it's checking for a Microsoft account associated with that. And now I have to enter in my password for that Microsoft account. So let me do that now. Okay, so I signed in and it says add security info. We'll only use this info to help you recover your password and to keep your account more secure. So basically it has my phone number, my email address, and my security question. So let me answer my security question and I'll catch up with you on the other side of that. So now it's creating my account. While we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. So here's the tutorial to get users used to it. So it says after it's ready, swipe from any edge. And that should bring up the charms bar on the side there. All right, we're getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Okay, now it's installing apps. And in case you don't know, you get Microsoft Office for RT with this device, just with the purchase price. Now it says taking care of a few things. And let's start. So here's the new Windows user interface. You have the tiles here. And you have some great one-to-one -one motion on this. This is very responsive here. And you see that I have the red background and it has some swirls back there. We'll delve into this in a little bit, but we're going to swipe from the side like it told us to. And it brings up the charm menu over here. Now, I have some videos up on Windows 8 on my channel, and I'll include a link to that at the end of this video. It'll get you a little more acquainted on how to use Windows. But if you want to see it on this device, I will be walking you through it in future videos. So there'll be a link to future Windows Surface videos at the end of this video as well. But a quick overview, you have search, share, your start menu, which is this, devices and settings, and Let's see, let's go to the desktop to show you that you do have a Windows desktop on this device. A lot of people think that you don't because it's Windows RT. Well, you do have a Windows desktop on this device. The only thing is, is that your Windows x86 programs, which are pretty much every Windows program up until this point, will not work on this device just because of the different chip architecture but there will be dedicated Windows RT programs such as Windows Office down here. And here you go. And we're gonna hit the Windows key down here, which is a capacitive key, and it should bring us back to the Start menu. Now the last thing I do wanna do is attach the keyboard for the very first time. So let's do that. So I have the keyboard here, the touch cover, and let's see what it does. Clicked in, and that's a nice little package there. So as you can see, it's nicely magnetized right in there. And supposedly, you'll be able to hold this thing up by the cover without dropping the tablet out. So it's a nice, secure magnet in there. And then you can open this up. And there you go. Get a nice picture of Seattle there. So that is the Windows Surface RT Tablet 32 gigabyte version. And that does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.